Hey guys, what's going on? Great North Fishing and Outdoors here, and today I'm going to be doing a Senko Showdown. Now, I have two different kinds of Senkos here. I just grabbed one of my bags that has, uh, it has two different colors and two different, uh, and two different companies. The two companies I have are Yum, <laughs> Yum Dingers and, uh, Gary Yamamoto's, uh, Senkos. Uh, so I'm going to start off, I have Gary Emma, I mean, I have, uh, Yum Dingers in Watermelon Seed, and I have Yum Dingers in Black and Blue, um, and then I have two Gary Yamamoto Senkos in Black and Blue. So, first I'm going to talk about durability. So, I just did a quick, uh, strength test. Uh, between both of these, and, uh, the Yum Dinger didn't break, but then the, uh, Gary Yamamoto Senko ripped off, and by the way, I can tell the difference between, uh, Gary Yamamoto's and the, uh, Yum Dinger's black and blue ones, because I have the shorter Gary Yamamoto's, uh, it's better to get, uh, longer ones, because then, I mean, if you want a shorter one, you just bite it, you just bite it off, um, Okay, so the Yum, Ding Yum Dinger won the uh, durability test. So 1.2 Yum Dinger. And next we're going to be talking about scent. Um, if you look inside the little piece of Gary Yamamoto Senko, if this will focus, that's full of salt. And like just from touching them, my, my hands are full of salt. You can smell it. Um... I'm going to rip apart the uh, one of the uh, Yum Dingers, and I'll show you what their, the inside of theirs looks like. So I just bit off um, <laughs> the Yum Dinger, and also loaded with salt. Um, the, here's the uh, ripped off Yum Dinger, and the ripped off Gary Yamamoto. I think I'm going to have to give the point to Gary Yamamoto. So it's one point Gary Yamamoto, one point Yum Dinger. Nextly, I'm gonna to I'm gonna talk about rigability. Um, they're they're both um, they both you know are basically the same. Uh, I can show you they both uh, don't rip off the hooks, and uh, so I'm gonna give half a point to each side. Next, uh, I'm going to talk about color. Now, if we look at the, this is a, yep, this is the Yum Dinger. It is, um, it starts out mostly blue with, you know, the little sparkles, and then it's black with blue sparkles. But then if we go to the Gary Yamamoto, it's mostly, it's blue, and then it's black. So the color point goes towards Yum Dinger. Next, I'm going to talk about price. Everybody already knows who's going to win. Gary Yamamoto's. Crazy expensive. Um, I don't know exactly how much. I think around six. It It's kind of hard to say because everything here in Canada is a lot more expensive than down in the States. So if I throw out a number, it's going to be a lot more expensive than where you guys are. And then I picked these up for $350. Uh, that's a pretty good price for down here. I mean, I'm pretty sure that's about the same price as uh, down in the States. So, what's wrong with my lighting here? Got weird. There we go. Um, so I'm going to give that point to Yum Dinger, obviously. Uh, so, they're both great baits, but in the end, I'm going to have to give the point to Yum Dingers. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what your favorite Senko is, um, and if you want me to do another Senko showdown with two other different kinds of Senkos, um, thanks for watching, guys. Peace.